Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matoro and we are here with a brand new video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the Payday single player heist mod inside your Grand Theft Auto B folder. So make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's in some of the description below. Once you have completed that, then download this mod, I will leave that mod inside my description below as well. And don't forget, it's really important, make sure you download Enable All Interiors mod and I will leave this inside my description below. So let's get started. Before we do get started, I just wanted to mention that make sure that you guys do install the requirements and this mod only requires the latest game version. So if you do have a pirate version, then I'm sorry, that, but this may not work for you, okay? So make sure that your game version is the latest version. So we are going to install this mod inside a clean GTA folder so we can see if it works okay so let's get started guys so all you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location now as you guys can see that this folder is completely clean there's absolutely no mods in here so before we do install our mods we need to activate our folder so go to your open IV go to Grand Theft Auto V windows now this process will take a few seconds, it all depends on your PC performance. Go to tools up top on your left hand side, then now go down to ASI manager, and then install your ASI loader, install openiv.asi. This application will pop up, just select yes, and then install open camera. Close the application, and then exit out of your open IV. And now we have completely installed our important thing now all you gotta do next is right click on your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and go to new and create a new folder and name that folder scripts make sure you spell scripts right and make sure that they are all lowercase press enter once and press enter again and now that folder should be completely empty and clean now once you have done that then open up your native UI extract folder Make sure it is the latest version and then now select your native UI.dll file and copy or drag it into your scripts folder. Now exit out of your native UI extract folder and open up your payday extract folder. Next all you gotta do is just open up the folder that's inside the extract folder and select all the files and folder and then drag it inside your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder and open up your enable all interiors extract folder. And then there will be another folder inside the extract folder. Open up that folder. And then all you gotta do next is select all the files and folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. And then now we have done that. Now make sure you guys do it like this, okay? Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and now what we are going to do is that we are going to install our requirements and then now open up your script hook V extract folder then go to your bin folder and select input 8.dll and script hook V.dll and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder this application will pop up, all you gotta do is just replace both files. Now this is optional, you can do this if you want to, but it's totally up to you. Open up your trainer v extract folder and select your trainer v.asi and .ini and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now again, this is optional, you can do this again, but open up your menu extract folder 
select your Minyo stuff folder and Minyo.asi and drag both files inside your Granted Audio Video main folder. Now this part right here, the reason why I'm leaving this part for last, it is because people get getting frustrated and they keep um, coming towards me or towards the developer on the reason why the game isn't working because you need to change your scriptography.net. So inside the original scriptography.net extract folder, all you gotta do is open up that folder, okay? Now inside here, inside your scriptography.net.ini, just double click, okay? Now as you can see, the reload key says none. This is the original one, okay? So I'll I'll open up my one, okay? The one that I done already. And as you can see, it says reload key insert, okay? So make sure you guys do when you download Scott Hook V extract folder, okay? Make sure that you change the none to insert, okay? Change none to insert. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just going to use the extract folder and I'm going to select all the files except for the text files and drag them all inside my Grand Theft Auto V main folder and I'm going to go to my i9 file which is this one over here and now I'm going to change this to insert okay make sure you guys spell it right and then the exit arrow and then save it and I exit out of your extract folder and that's all you guys got, got to do now what we're going to do is that I'm going to go in the game and show you guys how to use the mod so all you got to do next is right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you in the game and we are back again so as you guys can see on the map that the heist is showing and it's right over here so it does work but I'm going to give you guys a few options okay so over here as you can see the marker this is just for the heist of records so you can spawn heist records over here if you want to it's totally up to you and then we're going to go and move over here it's just oh wait now over here is just only like heist times um, and like your best times and etc so if you want to see your times then you can come over here okay over here there's just only the heist wardrobe okay so you can change the outfit if you want to it's totally up to you so this is pretty cool now come up here and we can do the main heist just come upstairs and then you will go to the office. Now over here, there's loads of options, okay? You can press E on your keyboard. Then, then you can choose what, which heist you want. We got like the Flicker heist, Palooza Bay, Pacific Standard, and the Jewelry uh, Store, the Union Depository, and the USS, the Silver Down heist, and the Nuclear Expansion. Deep Depths Heist, Human Lands, Party Yacht. So yeah, all these are just heists that is in the game, okay? So that's pretty good. There's loads of heists you can do. But I'm just going to do the easy one, which is the Diamond Casino Heist. And all you gotta do, okay, is just press enter. And now you can start your heist. You yeah, now start up your crew setup. Now the hacker, you can choose either four or whatever. But unfortunately, I want to have an unbeatable hacker, which is um, Paige, of, of course. And now you can choose your outfit if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it as default. Now you can choose your team, okay? Uh, whatever team you want, okay? You can have uh, uh, AI, you can have a poor juggernaut, unbeatable. And then now uh, you can change the skin of your team okay um, you can choose a clown or anybody even you can choose 
uh, Tracy DeSanto or Jimmy or Lesnar, but I'm just going to leave it as Tracy, of course. Uh, Tracy fight mode. Um, yeah, just uh, first. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. And now you can choose your next teammate. 12 o'clock midnight. Now, this is the cut for your crew. And that's all your crew cuts and your hacker and etc. So you can start to heist now and just press enter and start heist. And now just wait for a few seconds until yeah, until it starts loading. Now your crew will be waiting outside. Waiting over here. Your crew is over here, so let's go. And let's go and start the heist, okay? And now we are here at the casino. Now all you gotta do is go to the yellow marker that's in front of us and then you will teleport into the uh, casino underground. And then there you go. Then just go through the doors. Come through the sliding door. I mean, you know, the side door. Then just come downstairs and then come around here and wait, wait for your crew. Yep, there you go. Yeah, make sure that your crew is actually following you because sometimes they do tend to go somewhere else. Yeah, they're following you. you just make sure that your crew is following you because they do tend to glitch somewhere else or go somewhere then just walk all the way to the end and now what this will do is that you'll spawn inside the vault okay you'll see yourself opening up the vault and they're going to see Now let's go and start robbing, okay? Now what we are doing is that we are stealing gold. Yep, everybody's getting it. Good, good team, good team. Now look at look at the take. One point two billion already. Two point three, two point six. That's a lot of gold. And we got five minutes. I thought four was 40, 45. Oh, that's right. Okay, you have got. Yep. Now, all you gotta do next, guys, is beat up that guy. Make sure your crew is actually following you too, because as you can see, they are still waiting in the vault. So just go towards them and then now slowly walk out. Yep, they are following me, me now. So yeah, that's how you guys actually um, uh, play Well, We all have been playing the Casino Heist, but that's how you guys um, actually use the mod. And now what we are going to do is that we are going to go and go back inside the van. You can do whatever you want. You can go out in the front or go through the side or do whatever you want but I'm just going to go back to where we where we were but as you, as you guys can see that the cops are not shooting us that is because that I've got uh, never wanted on because I don't want to waste my time I do not oh come on now Tracy and we are going back into the van Hey, 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 go back in. Go, go at the back. Let Tracy have the seat. 
And now all you gotta do is just reverse out, and then yeah, you're safe. But make sure, okay, guys, if you want to make this fun, okay, if you want to have fun with this mod, make sure you don't uh, turn. Make sure you turn the never want it off, okay, so you can have wanted levels. But I got my wanted level on, no wanted level, so. Yeah, because the reason why I got it on because I don't want to uh, waste my time and shooting all the cops because I don't want to make the video too long. Now, all you gotta do next is just drive towards the, the destination, and now you you have completed the heist. And now you have completed the heist. So as you can see, I've got player cuts, heist, heist, heist. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And now you can do another heist if you want to. It's totally up to you. And yeah, I got paid. So that's how you guys uh, install the heist and that's how you use the heist. And now we are back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that video, okay, because that is an awesome, awesome heist mod, because all the heist is actually inside that mod, so it's an awesome heist. But unfortunately guys, I'm very, very sorry that the video is long, it's just that I, I want to make sure that you guys know how to install it right, and how to use it right, because there's been so many comments about that it's not working. So as you can see, it does work. So um, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments or go inside my discussion below and then join the developers Discord server. And then now uh, he will help you or his team will help you on installing this mod. Okay, it's really easy. All you gotta do is install the payday and the enable all interiors inside your scripts folder. Make sure that your scripts folder is lowercase and spelt right. And make sure that your game version is the latest version. And not to mention, make sure that you change your scriptvnet.ini file to insert. Okay, make sure it says reload key insert, not reload key none. Okay, so with that all said, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.